I got a few bones to pick. My voice is still a little shaky. I'm pretty sure I have strep throat. So I'm gonna try to make it through this without spewing up blood. But, um, I, well first, first things first, I have received a possible <laughs> sponsorship deal on uh, Instagram, but I need 10,000 followers. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna fucking try. So if uh, you've watched this, go follow my Instagram. It's literally just my username is Peelmast. Follow my Instagram. I'm gonna be uploading more video, ba basically photos, probably every single day, if not more, um, because it, they're like fitness, like two fitness sponsorship deals, like uh, for supplements, and then one of them was like a clothing deal. And I was like, really? They're gonna sponsor me, but I need a lot more followers, so I'm really gonna try to push for that. Uh, I'm gonna try to be more active on my social medias. I'm getting more active on my Twitter again. So I guess that's good. I'm starting to stream some more. Um, I'm trying to help Gaming Tuesday raise money for Save the Children. So if you can donate, please do that. Um, on my, if you go to my Twitch page, go twitch.tv uh, twitch slash peelmast. Uh, I have an entire, uh, I have a link. You just click on the picture and it'll go straight to my Tiltify page, <clears throat> which is a fantastic website. Um, it's basically just a website where all major charities go to. Um, go there. You can donate there on my uh, Tiltify page and uh, help me reach my goal. Anyway, uh, back to the topic at hand. Um, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> how to be a supervisor at work and how not to be a bad one. Alright, so first things first. I've been to a lot of jobs. I've had a lot of different job opportunities. Um, and really the best supervisors are people who trust their employees. Like once you like establish yourself in a company and you don't leave after like two fucking days or a week and a half, as long as you show that you actually want to be there, um, a supervisor just kind of lets you do your job. Um, I absolutely hate helicopter supervisors. I mean, it's nice that they're around that you can ask them a question, but stop, st like, a big thing right now <laughs> is whenever I slightly do something wrong or I do something that my supervisor doesn't 100% like, um, she talks to me like I'm fucking five. I'm not five years old. I'm 20 fucking five. I'm a grown ass fucking man. I'm taking master's classes and I won't get paid more than you in two fucking weeks. So fucking get off your damn high horse and come at me like a man. Like I, the man I am. Like stop treating me like I'm a child. That's rule number one for fucking supervisors. You cannot treat your staff like they're children or like they're incompetent. They, I hate that. Like, my supervisor has no idea what the fuck I've been through. And she gonna come at me like I'm fucking four. Like I'm one of the fucking toddlers in the classroom. Fuck off. In all honesty. Um... But it's it's the language that you use. When you if you are a supervisor or you want to be a supervisor, you have to treat every single one of your staff <clears throat> like they matter. Because when working with like uh, like social work or working with uh, in the education field, your staff matters. Your staff is essential. So you cannot run around treating them like they're five years old. You cannot belittle them. You cannot do that. So if you are a supervisor, you have to treat your staff with respect. If your staff says, hey, yo, my child is sick, I need today off. You have, you, you, but you have to give it to them. Just say, hey, yo, that's great. I'm not going to be there. I can fill your shift if we can't find anyone else to fill it. You know, you can't. Or if the staff themselves is sick. You cannot just throw it on that staff to tell them, yo, you got to find a replacement for yourself. That's stupid. That is 
That's how you lose staff. That's how you lose staff. The other day, my fiance's throwing up. Like, she's throwing up so much, she's dry heaving. There's nothing else to throw up, but she's still doing it. She still has to go into work at 6 fucking a.m., which is an hour away from our house. What kind of stupid ass bullshit is that? You can't fucking, like, the super, like, or, I get out. Her supervisor can't come in for four hours until someone else comes in to replace her. That's stupid. That's how you lose staff. Oh, I, I don't understand. I, you have to treat your staff with respect. You cannot belittle them. You, you have to trust them to do the job that the supervisor themselves trained them for. Like, at my spot, at my job right now, my supervisor trained each and every single one of us to do the job. Each and every single one of us to do that job. And it seems like she doesn't trust any of us to actually fucking do it. Because she's always around. She always has little, like, little tips. Like, no. Like, yo, tips don't work for me. You know why? Because I am not you. I'm not 80 fucking years old. I haven't been teaching for 20 fucking 7 years. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to teach. Step off. Go away. Let me do my job. <laughs> I, that's on the, the second big thing. You have to you have to trust your staff. You got to trust your staff and you have to treat them with respect. Because if you don't treat them with respect, they're going to leave. Like what I'm going to do in two fucking weeks. I'm leaving that job in two weeks. Um, which is kind of funny. She, when she asked me about it, it's like, is the 13th going to be your last day? And I was like, yeah. And that was it. It was the entire conversation about it. And then after that, she, like, would talk down. She talked down to me all day today. And she was in my classroom for two fucking hours. I hated today. Today was shit. Like, leave me alone. And it's like, I'm leaving in two weeks. You don't got to be around. Like, fuck off. Go somewhere else. Don't you have someone else to fucking stare at through the window and then come in the classroom then yell at? Like, go, go away. I didn't ask you to fucking helicopter me. I don't like that. Obviously. Because I got I got some important texts today uh, and some important Instagram messages about those fucking sponsorship deals. Um, and I just, I just look at them. And I send... One response. She looks at me and goes, put your phone away. And this is like, gives me like this weird, like, I guess it was her mean stare. It almost made me fucking laugh. Like, get the fuck off your high horse. Like, two weeks ago, she tried to take my phone away from me because it fucking went off audibly in the classroom. So I, t- I took it out of my pocket, put it on vibrate, put it back in. And she didn't walk up to me and said, give me your phone. I said, no. This isn't fucking middle school. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck off! I, I I don't I don't know if you can tell, but I don't like my supervisor. Like not at all. And get, don't get me wrong, the job that I have at this current point, it's a good one. It ain't for me. Uh, but if I had a good supervisor, I would I would stay around. I would probably honestly stick through it. But I feel like the supervisor's out to get me. The pay still is nothing. This pay is still shit. I still can barely afford to fucking live. It's just a lot going against me at this at this job, and I cannot wait to leave. I'm going to miss the staff that's there, 100%, because we were a team. But that supervisor, she ain't part of that fucking team. She on she honestly sucks. I've had some real shit supervisors, and she's definitely one of the shittiest. Oh man. Alright, I'm done. Because my voice is start my throat's starting to hurt, my voice is starting to go. Um anyway. I'll probably be playing some more. I'll probably be streaming some more uh this week. At least I fucking hope. Um Yeah. If you can donate to my Tiltify page, please, and follow me on Instagram so I can get these sponsorship deals. Cause that'd be fan fucking tastic. Anyway. Uh see you later.